Hello people of internet, I am Di Gremlin and welcome, 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 welcome to week 6 of season 3 of the PTL, the Pokemon Tri-League. I am Di Gremlin, proud coach of the South End Stallions and this week we are taking a coach river of the Rosmelon Roserades. Um, he is sitting at 2 and 3, we are at 3 and 2, we are literally on the cusp of a playoff spot, I, I believe I am actually in a playoff spot. Um, but uh, the league is very, very tight at the moment, um, and my next couple of matches are pretty big. Like, my next five matches in a row are against all the teams that are below me. So, if I win most of these matches, I'm going to knock a lot of teams out of playoff contention. Um, so, we're in a good spot for playoffs, but it's a tenuous spot. Like, a few losses, and we are right out of it. So, uh, we kind of need to win this. Uh, but it's a very interesting match, as we'll get into. Um, his team is right here. He's got the Mew, Tyranitar, Megazard Y, Gliscor, Empoleon, Klefki, Gengar, Noivern, Slowpuff, Shiftry, and Electrode. If I had to guess what he was going to bring, it's tough, man, it's tough. Um, like, probably the Mew, um, possibly the Tita, I could see that being on the bench. Um, probably the Zard Y. Um, probably Empoleon, probably Gliscor. Like, I don't know, he has a lot of things that are really, really good, but I also have a lot of things that are very good against him. Um, I do think that Gengar is, is one of the biggest threats in this matchup, though. Um, it it kind of has to be Scarf, but if he gets rid of my fast stuff, a Life Orb Gengar will like just rip me apart completely. Uh, so my team is right here on screen. Uh, I'm bringing back an offensive setup from the Crosma. This thing uh, with the Eye of Powerberry can basically set up on anything. It's going to struggle to win the game on its own. I think I'm going to use this thing as a bit of an early game breaker. Unless his team is super weak to it, in which case I will try and preserve it a bit longer. Um, but yeah, like, Photon Geyser and EQ just rips his team apart. Um, if I get up a Rock Polish, I can SD on a few things. And just start to punch some holes in his team and open the door for some of my other threats. Um, this, this could get sketchy if he's a setup Mew and we're trying to set up on each other, it could get sketchy. I could lose to that, um, so I will have to watch out for that. Uh, I got my Greninja, bringing Greninja back. Greninja's been on the bench for a while, um, but it's just so good in this matchup. Surf, Dark Pulse, Low Kick with the Life Orb, two shots his entire team. Um, he, he has literally no switch into this thing. Um, the last move slot was, it was really tough. I went with Spikes over U-Turn, um, Spikes aren't that good against him, but they have the potential to be good against him. Um, and if I if if he's not that prepared for hazards, and I set up spikes against him, I'm in such a good spot. So even though U-turn would have been good, I feel like just clicking attacks is better than U-turning out on stuff. And if I have the opportunity, at least I have the option to click spikes. Uh, and I got my Beavis here. Um, Beavis outspeeds and like destroys his entire team. There's a lot of stuff that he can do to counter Beedrill, but I'm totally fine with it. Like, if he is Scarf Gengar, um, I can set up on that with multiple Mons on my team. If he's Scarf Mew, I can set up on that with multiple Mons on my team. Um, uh, the Gliscor stops this really, really hard, but if I predict that, go for a knockoff, get rid of that thing's Toxic Orb, that thing is not a threat in the slightest. Um, so hopefully that's a situation that comes up. Um, I got my Kenny here. This is my designated um, Mega Charizard switch in. That thing hits like an absolute truck. Um, my Kenny can like barely switch into it, um, even being almost max per def. Um, but I got some cool stuff because I got the Willow and I got the Hex. Um, Willow Wisp onto Mew, obviously, it, it can't synchronize the burn onto me, and then Hex does double damage to it after that. Um, I can also go for a Hex on the Gliscor, whether or not I've got the Willow off before Toxic Orb or not. The Hex is still going to do double damage. Um, so it means the Gliscor can't come in for free, but Hex just covered more than HP Ice did. Um, obviously, I, I got a lot of um, Rock's weaknesses this week, and he has very good Hazard stack. Even though he doesn't have a Spinner, he's got like 5 Defoggers and Hazard stack, which is kind of weird. Um, but Spinning is important. I, I can't allow him to Spike stack me and get his Rocks up. So this thing is here to get up my rocks, he's got a Charizard, spin away whatever he's doing to me. I don't want sticky webs up, that would be terrible. Um, and then roar out some of his setup ones, like roar out the Mew. Um, you know, if I can roar the Charizard in on rocks, that's fantastic. Uh, I can roar out like the Slowpuff, so that can't set up for me, because Slowpuff is a pretty big threat, but it can't really set up on too much. 
but yeah, like pretty self-explanatory uh, uh, Don Fan set here. And then I got my combo. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! It's combo. Um, yeah, I was I was bringing a defensive combo for the longest time, um, but then I I realized how good an offensive combo can be in this matchup. Um, after uh, one or two dragon dances, I couldn't just literally win the game on this thing, uh, depending on what he's bringing. Um, I have the ghost to him to try and knock out a Mew, uh, which I believe it will do most of the time when I'm at plus one. And I have enough spadef to live a max special attack, modest psychic from Mew, um, which really helps me set up on this team. Like, um, the Gengar has to use Dazzling Gleam, so if it's choice locked in any way and it's not going for Dazzling Gleam, I can set up on it. Um, I can set up on the Charizard, like, basically for free. Um, I, I can set up on Gliscor, I can set up on Tyranitar. This thing sets up on a lot. This is probably my win con. It might be Greninja. It's going to depend on what he brings, because he can bring so much, because he's, um, he's got, like, he has so many good things against me, but I have so many good things against him. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a really interesting matchup. I think whoever grabs the momentum early game is probably going to run away with it, but we'll have to see. Uh, so yeah, let's just jump into the battle. Okay, okay, he brings a lot of what I expected. No Gengar is fantastic for me. No Titar is kind of expected. No Empoleon is pretty cool. Um, yeah, Slowpuff is, is a big issue, uh, as is Mew. Um, I'm pretty happy to not see um, Gengar, though. That's that's pretty big. Um, Neuven is a big threat, though, so I could just lead off with my Beavis. That's kind of risky. I think Rotom is my overall best lead. Um, I can Will O Wisp like everything. Yeah, let's just let's just lead off with Kenny. Kenny is definitely the best lead here. Um, and then if he if he tries to set up webs on me and spikes and stuff, I'm just going Don Fan. I'm just getting rid of him. I don't even care. Um, I don't know what the worst case scenario would be for me. Probably. Probably the Neuvern, because he could just um, fire off a huge hit. Um, is Neuvern one of his Zedmons? It is. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, let's see what he leads with. I'm with Kenny. He, ah, he leads Neuvern, so he's going to frisk my lefties. Uh, this is a pretty tricky turn one, in all honesty. Um, let's say he's offensive. Like, Draco's going to do half... Zed Draco really chunks me. Uh, I can't do that much to him, is the thing. Uh, can my Don Fan switch in? Ooh, he's put me in a tough spot right away. Um, I guess the question is, is, how much do I need this, Kenny? This could be Scarf Neuvern, is the thing. I think... The thing is, Minor Crosma can win the game. Can Minor Crosma switch in on this thing? Probably not. Yeah, not really. Um, I kind of want to go into Crosma just to scout. Oh, su super bad lead for me. This was the one thing that, that um, kind of messed me up here. If I go neck and lose neck, that's like pretty bad. Um, I just think Kenny's more important. Like, Kenny beats like the Klefki, the Zard. It kind of stops the puff. It can do good against the Mew. Um, I think I'm going to go Necrozma. I, I really want to scout what he's going to do here. He just U-turns. Okay. So he gets the initiative, but I think I made the overall best play. Um, yeah. I mean, I couldn't really do much to the Neuven anyway. So that kind of indicates to me that he is Scarf. Um, if we just see U-turn doing 15%. Yeah, that's that's no attack. Yeah, so this thing is probably Choice Scarf, uh, which does make sense to outspeed my Beedrill. Um, hmm. Is Neuven is a bit of a problem, honestly. I, I need to get Rocks up as soon as possible. Because he has no idea what kind of across my hand. Um, I guess maybe from that damage he could tell that I'm offensive. But he got like a pretty low roll. Okay, in comes the keys. Uh, I think I just go hard Don Fan on this thing, honestly. Uh, this thing is either going to fire off a toxic or like set up screens or hazards. 
And Don's Hand basically covers all of that. I can get up my rocks, I can spin. Yeah, let's just go Don Fan. I could I could have tried to set up. He goes for a T wave. Yeah, there was there was no way I was running that risk. Um so I could go for my rocks. I could just EQ. The thing is Gliscor has probably come in here and that kinda sucks. Um but Yeah, I, I think rocks are, are super important. I, I need my rocks. Like Gliscor getting his toxic orb up is gonna suck. Uh, for sure, but it's it's far from the end of the world. It's okay. It's an okay situation. So I get my rocks up, and Neuven is getting chipped, Azard is getting chipped. It makes it a lot easier for me to deal with Slurpuff as well. He goes for spikes. Um, I'm just gonna spin. I don't I don't want him spike stacking me. This is what my Dom fan was designed to do. I guess I could roll. It's for a foul plate. That does literally no damage. Um, I could just roar here, which could get in Zard, or I could just earthquake. Those are really my two plays. Let's have a look. Dawnfan against Klefki. That foul plate did nothing, dude. I mean, EQ is gonna have a chance to kill. I think I like that. I could just roar though. Let's just let's just earthquake. Well, he could, he could go Gliscor, but if he doesn't go Gliscor, I could roar him into Gliscor. Let's just EQ. I think EQ is probably my overall best play because um, he's not going Zard. It's gonna catch Mew, Klefki, Puff. Um, him going Neuvern is is too risky. He doesn't know that I don't have Ice Shard. So even though Gliscor is really realistically his overall best play. Um, I'm I'm okay with it. I don't like it. I'm okay with it. Here comes the Gliscor. So uh, I could have roared again. He, uh, I think he protects. He he could definitely protect a scout for what I'm gonna do because uh, he doesn't know that I don't have ice shard. I could just roar him out. Roar through the protect. That's actually a pretty good play. Because what's he gonna do to me realistically? He like can't touch me, and I think he protects here. So let's go for a roar. He toxics. That's cool. I get the Neuvern in. That's that's pretty nice, honestly. Um, so he sees my whole set. He knows that I can't touch this thing. But hmm, Mana Crossman is definitely good, but I feel like my setup options are very limited. Given that that Klefki has T-Wave. I could go into my Rotom here. That seems pretty risky though. I'm just going to go Necrozma again. I feel like my Necrozma is um, kind of useless. Which is funny given my nickname. Um, I I could actually do a number of things here. I think I'm going to go for the Rock Polish. Assuming I live the Air Slash, I pop my Berry. Rock Polish is my best play. If he switches out, he's taking more damage. Air Slash. Pop my Berry. Nice, I do not get flinched. I do not get flinched. That is that is super cool. So now my Necrozma is in against the Neuvern. We think it's Choice Scarf. We definitely think it's Choice Scarf. Um, Geyser does... A lot of damage, it does not kill. I could EQ predicting the Klefki. I think it's too risky for him to go hard Klefki, honestly. I think I'm going to SD. Yeah, let's go for an SD. Oh, he, st he outspeeds me with his Scarf. Oh, I just made such a horrendous misplay. Okay. Well, at least I can go Rotom now. I basically just threw mine across. My, I, I almost guys it as well. That's so stupid. Um, mm, this is kind of bad. Um, how much does my Hex do to Thingy? Ah! Oh, that was really dumb. I knew that he outsped me as well. Um... I mean, Overheat does a lot of damage to his whole team. I'm just going to Overheat. 
There's no way he's staying in here. We know he scarfed. And overheat really, really hurts him. Like, this is going to hurt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's hurt. So, again, he probably has to protect. I think going Como is my right play. I think I definitely like that. Como kind of covers everything. I mean... The slurp buff is scary. I can't do that much to the slurp buff. Uh, let's have a look. Come on. If I'm not at plus anything, and young slurp buff comes in, yeah, that's the scary thing, dude. That's the scary thing. I think slurp buff would win the game. Um, so I could just go Greninja. Greninja would basically just pick up a kill at this point. Um, how much damage would I take from the Gliscor is the question. I, I would I would get chunked, but he's, he's not going to EQ. I think I'm going to make the aggressive play and go Greninja. I think he's going to protect here. Either that or he could try and switch path. He roosts. Good play, good play. Um... Surf should kill though. Surf should absolutely definitely kill. And he has no surf switch ins. So I'm just gonna click surf. He goes keys. This thing does not like this. Oh my god, that did so much damage. And we, we see his item as well. His berry is gone. That's awesome. Uh, I could go Don Fan. I am starting to get worn down though. I could also just go Rome. I don't think he could touch my roam, and I can fire off uh, an overheat basically for free. Yeah, let's get Kenny in. Th there's no way I'm allowing my Greninja to get T-waved. That's just so stupid. Like that did so much damage to the to these keys. The problem is that slope off. If I allow that slope off to set up, I do lose the game, uh, which is unfortunate. It's definitely unfortunate. Um, but if I if I get to plus one combo, it's not that bad. He goes for a screen. That's not great. Has to be said, that is not great. Hmm. I have to stall out this screen now. I think I Volt Switch, because him going Gliscor is really not that bad. Him going something else to try and set up on me would be worse. So let's just go for the Volt Switch. He spikes. Okay. Okay. I'm Yeah, I'm getting rid of these things. I'm not about that spiky life. Let's get my Don Fan in here. And we'll go for the spin. He can obviously just go Gliscor. Like, totally for free. Totally for free. Um, but that's okay, because we're stalling out his light screen. Which is really, really annoying to me. Yes, yeah, so we see this thing's full set. Oh, Greninja goes in on this man's team. Greninja absolutely goes in. That Neuven is definitely a problem. Like, Scarf Neuven kind of beats me down. My Necrozma's chip down. Um, hmm. I need to be careful. I need to be very careful of that Neuvan. He goes Puff. I don't really know why. He's lefty's Puff. Okay. He's probably defensive to stop my Komo. That's fine. I mean, he could go Webs here. I like going Beavis, though. I like going Hard Beavis. He could get webs up. He could predict and flamethrower. Let's have a look. If I'm not megged, slip off. Uh, he's not going to be belly drum though. Is that too risky? What's my other play? I could just go Kenny. I mean, Kenny is fine. Mmm, I'm in a tricky spot, honestly. I think it's risky, but I think I want to go Beavis. 
Let's do it. Let's go, Beavis. Okay, he goes for a wish. That's that's fine by me. Um, I could obviously poison jab here, but I U turn is clearly my best play. I could also knock off. U, -U turn's the best play. He could predict this, but it it, it doesn't really matter. It has to be said. This thing not being set up is super good, honestly. I just gotta be careful of that Noivern. Thing is, it doesn't really one-shot anything on my team. And all I need is like a little bit of chip, and then rocks are basically gonna kill it, so... And the way he's played this match, I don't think he has removal on his team. Spikes don't really affect anything, though, so... That would be kind of pointless to go for spikes. Ah, if I geysered earlier with my Necrozma like I should have done, and I almost did, I would be in such a good spot, because the Neuvern would be... It, the Neuvern would be dead right now, because it would die to rocks. Um, and I actually don't see a win con him outside of Neuvern. It would really be me who's the only issue. Okay, he goes keys. I almost wanted to predict that in drill run, but just not worth it. So I get off some chip. I do get off some chip. And I can just go Kenny. Because the light screen's going to fade. He could try and spike stack me. I don't really care. I could Willow. Willow is a pretty good play, honestly. I guess he could light screen again. I think I want a Willow. Let's go for the Willow. Let's get some residual damage on this thing. That's going to help me out a lot. I think his play is almost certainly to light screen. Because Overheat just hits his team so hard. I think maybe going Kenny was a misplay. Maybe I should have gone uh, Necrozma. Yeah, Necrozma might have been the play. But at least I got Necrozma as a sack. I think having a sack is pretty good. Yes, we light screens. That's fine. That's totally fine by me. I think... I think I don't want him spiking. So I could go hard Don Fan. Uh, what's the downside to that? The downside is my Don Fan is getting worn down. And it is one of my few things that is going to stop Scarf Neuvern from just sweeping me. I mean, I take a lot from it, but it, it it's it's manageable. How much does air slash do? Really nothing. So preserving the health of my Donphan is pretty useful. Um, do I just let him spike stack me then? I don't know about that. He he can't touch my coma o, but he can t wave me. How much am I doing through screen? Um, clef key. Mm, not really that much. I think I go hard Don Fan. I think I've got to keep the spikes off the field. Or I Volt Switch for Chip. Let, let's Volt Switch for Chip. Alright, get Don Fan in, go for another spin. My Don Fan is getting chipped down, but it, it's okay. Because the moment I beat this Klefki, the moment I beat this Klefki, I'm in a good spot. My Greninja still goes in on his team. It absolutely goes in. Scarf Mew could be kind of sketch, I guess. Um, if I get my combo to plus two, can I win? Like, if I'm at plus two speed, do I outspeed Scarf Neuvern? I feel like probably not. No. Hmm. That Neuvern is a problem. That Neuvern is definitely a problem. 
Okay, Puff comes in, that's cool. I think... How much is an EQ going to do to him? Ah, oh, that's just wasting my health. Yeah, EQ, like, barely does anything. Um, I think I make the same play again. I think I go Beavis. Well, that's kind of risky this time. Maybe I go Kenny. Kenny's not doing much damage to his team, though. Brunei just far too risky. Roar is my safe play. Roar is definitely the safest play. The thing is, is he definitely goes for a wish here. I guess I could go Necrozma. Pretty safely. I could actually do that. If I go Necrozma... I should definitely outspeed him. And a geyser will hurt. A geyser will hurt anything. So maybe it's time to bust out Necrozma. I think I like that. Yeah, let's go Necrozma here. He gets the webs up. Okay, okay, I'm gonna have to spin those. <laughs> I'm just going to fire off a geyser. It should do a good amount of damage to anything. Okay, so I need to get rid of those webs as soon as possible. Um, but the good news is my Don Fan spins on basically his whole team. Yeah, those webs are not good. This is, this is why I needed a spinner. Um... Hmm. The thing is, I just, I just need like little bits of chip. I mean, his whole team is in range of Greninja right now, which is the crazy thing. I just, I need to get my Don Fan in safely to get rid of the webs. I need to get Don Fan in safely. I need to keep Kenny as healthy as possible. That's that's gonna be my my Nova in check. Um, so I'm probably going to have to sack some mons pretty soon. Oh, I can't believe it. it just it just slipped my mind um, that Scarf Noivern was faster than me. I, I knew in prep I knew that it was faster than me because I did consider Scarf Noivern. I thought Scarf Gengar would be scarier, which it definitely would have been. Actually, can we tell how fast the Neuvern is? Because I was at plus two. So he's super speedy Neuvern. Which is smart. <laughs> ah, it's just so crazy. Like, if I geysered... <laughs> if I geysered the Neuvern, uh, it would be dead to rocks at this point. That would be in a very good spot. Because, like, where is the offensive pressure on his team? It's not from Slurpuff, it's not from Klefki, it's not from Gliscor, it is from Charizard, and it probably is from Mew. Based on the setup of his team, I feel like Mew is going to be set up. Hmm. Yeah, he, he's going to take this opportunity to set up with Mew. There's a little chunk. If I just fire off EQs, am I going to lose, basically? This thing is almost certainly offensive. Well, actually, that geyser did 19%. Is that like max HP? That's probably max HP. Um, so, EQ chunks. Hmm... This is tricky. This is tricky. Yeah, he definitely made a pretty good play there. If I go for an EQ, do, do about 
That is a three shot. But he could go for a nasty plot. And then he one shots my whole team. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that one bit. What's he going to be knocking me out with? Pretty much any attack at this point. Um, I think I'm in huge trouble. How do I stop this? How do I stop this sweep? Because if I go Don Fan, my Don Fan lives a hit, but not after a nasty block. Not if he's Munium either. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. What's my play? Is my play Kenny? I go Kenny. Kenny will live a plus two hit. So you know what? I just need to put this thing in range of Kenny. I guess he could be Roost. I think I should Rock Polish. As weird as that sounds. I think I want to outspeed this thing. Let's EQ for damage. I, I actually outspeed naturally. I mean, that's pretty big. I could have SD'd there. That's EQ again. He can't be double dance roost. There's no way he can be double dance roost. We do a lot. Okay, he kills me with Psychic. Mine Cosmo is 137 speed. Does my Beedrill under webs outspeed him? 128. My Beedrill could outspeed him. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I mean, I know that my Kenny lives a hit. So the smart play is Kenny. Because if he's plus two... Kenny lives, but then I lose to Neuvern. I, I literally lose to Neuvern, so I can't do that. I think I have to risk the Beedrill. How much speed does he need? Um, If I am at minus one... He needs 68. Can he afford 68 in speed after my Necrozma did so little to him? Because he looks to be max HP. I think I'm going to run this risk. I think I have to. I think I have to run this risk. Let's go for a U-turn. If he outspeeds me, I'm in I'm in quite a big trouble. I, I probably lose. But I just don't think I can allow my Kenny to take all that damage. Oh yes. Oh that is good. That is good. Okay, I thought that through properly. Woo! Um I think I like going Kenny here. That punishes Zard. Um, what is that force? Gliscor? Ken Kenny's just the best play. Kenny's definitely the best play. Ooh, that was that was a heart attack moment. I thought I kind of lost the game there, but yeah, he just needed a little bit more speed. He needed a tiny bit more speed. He played that really well. Um, but me outspeeding with the Cosmo was pretty big. I imagine if I went for the Rock Polish instead of the EQ on the first turn, I'd have been so screwed because I outsped him naturally. Again comes the Neuvern. Oh, look at this chip. Look at this chip! Okay, that's pretty good. I mean, I have no switch into this thing. I have absolutely no switch in at this point in the game. Um, Neuvern. My Hex does nothing. My Volt Switch does a pretty good amount. 
Like, will he die after rocks? He will. So Volt Switch is worth it. Volt Switch is 100% worth it at this point. Let's go for the Volt Switch. He drops a Draco, it does less than half to me. And Volt Switch puts him in rocks range. Beautiful. Now my Don fan absolutely lives a hit. Minus two Draco does nothing to my Don fan. I can go Don fan, I can spin away these webs. Whew. We have avoided several crises so far. My Greninja is close to winning. As is my Beedrill. One of them is going to have to get t waved by the Klefki. But that'll be okay, because I'll have the other one. He Dracos. It does nothing. Does my spin kill? Crit spin? Crit spin? Um... I guess I spin again. Like, my Donphan's kind of useless at this point. Um, do I have the tools to win if I don't have an option to spin later? Like, he's minus four now. I could go Greninja. I kind of like going Beavis, honestly. Can my combo set up, question mark? Yes. I can set up on him. Is that too risky? Um, let's see. Um, if a plus one Z Shadow Claw knocks out the slurp buff. See, I don't think this is a spread though. He's like max HP, so it's too early for that, it's too early. If he gets up webs again, I'm in a tricky spot, but I think I can win the game. Yeah, let's just spin. Let's just get rid of him. So it is going to be a double down here. Yeah, it is. But I can go... Be... I can go Greninja. And then I get a kill no matter what. I can't risk my Greninja getting T-Wave though. And I probably don't kill Puff from this range. So Beavis is the overall better play. Let's go Beavis. In comes Keys. I think I drill run and just take the T-Wave. Honestly, I think that's what I do. Um, Beavis against Keys. Drill run absolutely kills him from here. I think I have to, if I kill this thing with Drill Run, my Greninja should win the game. So let's Drill Run. He could also predict and spike. I think him, he T-waves, please no para. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Oh no. Oh, that's very not good. Now he can go Gliscor for free. I have to U-turn now. Yep. I just got paralyzed on my Beavis for literally nothing. Well, he could foul play me. How much does foul play do? Because it might be worth it for him to stay in. Foul play actually kills me. So he probably stays in. So I guess I have to hard switch into Kenny. I have to. I have to hard switch into Kenny. Well... If my Beavis is useless at this point, if my Beavis is useless, I might as well U-turn. But he's gonna foul play. I think I should be willing to chance that roll, in all honesty. Let's draw on. Oh! Yo, I still had speed him! I forgot about that! Oh, and he's burned! I forgot about that! I'm so stupid! <laughs> oh my god. I'm so glad I... Well, I didn't. I didn't exactly think it through, but it worked out. Oh, I'm, I'm making mistakes here for sure. He fire fangs me. That's cool. That's cool. I think. 
I just go K, right? Because Surf two shots everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. K, 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 K. Surf. I did think Micro Ninja was going to be amazing in this matchup, but I'm going to need it to pull through here. That Zard has not even hit the field. Fortunately, I have my two ones that can actually take a hit from Zard. He protects, obviously, the smart play. But, like, Puff is not a switch in. He has to sack something. And if he sacks Puff, comma, O wins. Oh, he sacks Guy Score! Ooh, I think Kenny might win the game from here. Do I just spam Surf? Uh, let's have a look. Greninja against. Uh, Slurpuff. Number 50. I do a lot of damage. Surely Kenny is the best player. I mean, I don't want him setting up webs. I'm gonna surf. I'm gonna surf. It might kill. It doesn't. Oh, it, it was never killing. Okay. I lose Micro Ninja. That's fine. That's so fine. Because I can go Kenny. I can definitely go Kenny here. I mean, I have to go Kenny. I guess based on that Greninja damage. I mean, that, that did literally nothing. He's like Max Pedef. Yeah. Does my Kenny not kill? Did I just choke? Overheat. Overheat should kill. Yeah, even if it's like max per death, over each kill. I guess he protects. Well, there's nothing I can do about him protecting. So beat again. Gotta hope it kills. I think it should kill. It's gonna be close. Oh no. Oh no. I should have willowed him there. I mean, he definitely protects on this turn. Thing is, he can't touch my Kenny. Um, so I know he's max for death. Comma O. Can do 50% to him. So that's really my win con. Get him in that range. I'm going to Willow. Willow is my best play. I need the residual damage. I think I should have... Going for overheat was a misplay there. I should have willowed, for sure. My man goes, Zard? What? Why did he do that? I guess that kind of makes sense. But now I can win? I mean, I go for the Vault Switch here every single time. But his puff dies to rocks. I don't know about this. He's HP Rockzard. I don't think it matters. I go Como here. Does Como win the game? If he is Megazard Y. He he can he literally can never kill me. Plus one never ending nightmare always kills him. I'm going to DD. How on earth did that kill me? What? Oh my god. Oh my god, you have got to be kidding me. You got a max roll. Dude. Oh my god, I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. I had like 160 for death. I mean, I guess if he was modest, he shouldn't have been modest. If he was modest, there was a 60% chance to kill me. 
Oh my god, I made a lot of misplays in this game which cost me, but that sucked. I don't understand how we can run modest against my team. Yeah, you're one point past in the room, but Strapta just blows you back. Oh, I'm so sorry. Again. I needed to win this game. And I should have won. Oh, fucking rolls, man. I just don't understand. Oh, I did miss by pretty big, honestly, by overheating the puff. There was no reason to do that. I should have willowed it. Oh, or just vault switch and then just pop the never in nightmare. No, that doesn't make sense. I'm salty as hell. <laughs> oh, that was such a good game, though. Uh, well played to River. He 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 made a lot of good plays throughout that game. Um, I did not see that that passing. I guess honestly, I should have vault switched on the um on the puff. It wouldn't have made much of a difference, I guess. I, I can't believe I lost that game. <sighs> Man. Yeah, I definitely should have vault switched on the puff. I, I didn't even consider going Charizard as an option. Because, like, that was... Mad. I mean, looking back on it, it's obviously a good play because his Zard, worst case scenario, is at seventy three percent. See, if I vault switch there, his Zard is at basically full. It comes down to the same roll. I just, I cannot believe he ran modest. Well, whatever. I guess he took a risk and it paid off big time. Yeah. GG's to my opponent, that was a fantastic match. Um, I really needed to win it, and I was very, very, very close to winning it, um, but not close enough. So yeah, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye!